733 now some disturbing images coming in from North Carolina. A second night of protest over a deadly officer involved shooting in Charlotte has again turned violent. Even reporters have been caught in the chaos. CNN's Boris Sanchez was reporting on the protest earlier this morning when several explosions went off. That, that's right. So basically, we were following the crowd all the way down to this part of downtown. At one point, people got really agitated. There were trash cans thrown from the top of a mall, and then they came here. And as you can see, people are trying to damage these vans. So far, they've they've put out. Oh wow! <laughs> they've put out a pepper spray. People are running from it. Jeremy, get out of there! Jerry, get out of there! So as you can tell, the situation is totally out of control. Just to give you a look at where the police line is right now, you can tell from all the debris in front of me, things very quickly got out of control, and they are still doing what they can to disperse this crowd, but it's, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. Oh, okay. They clearly want us out of here. Wow. Okay, at least one person was critically wounded and is on life support after being shot during that protest. City officials say the victim was a civilian and what happened did not involve police. The protest come uh, amid Tuesday's shooting death of Keith Lamont Scott. Scott's family says he was unarmed sitting in his car reading a book, but police say Scott had a gun and that there's no evidence of a book. Charlotte's mayor says there are multiple cameras with different angles that captured the incident. Uh, there are different perspectives and different videos. There are a couple different body cameras. There were some dash cameras. Um, there may be some community videos. And so we want to make sure when you see all the perspectives that we have a complete picture of what happened. None of that footage has been released, though. Officials say it is still under review.